Hello everyone. So today's video, I will be talking about the types of op amps there are in electric circuits. And particularly, I'm going to talk about the ideal op amps and the two basic configurations of it. So an op amp looks like this. Uh, and we can label this as the circuit symbol. And basically, there are five pins that you should be aware of when we're dealing with op amps. So the first pin is the negative input terminal. We'll label that as one. And then the positive input terminal, which is two. And then we have the uh, output terminal right here, which is three. And then we have the positive uh, power supply, VCC, as uh, four. And then we have the negative uh, power supply terminal, which is V negative VEE, -E, which is five. So this is a circuit symbol for an op amp. Now let's get to an ideal op amp. And there's an ideal op amp, as you can see, uh, have uh, these following three pins. It also have the power supply uh, f uh, going from here and to here. So he, he, uh, you can see that you have V1 and V2. V1 corresponds to pin 1, V2 corresponds to pin 2, and V3 corresponds to the output terminal from uh, the op amp. And uh, you can see, to see that each current contains 0. And the output terminal contains an open loop gain, A. And that's multiplied by the difference between V2 and V1. So that's what we have. And there, there are essentially five characteristics that an ideal op amp have. So the first characteristic is that it has infinite input impedance. Number two, it has zero output impedance. Number three, it has zero common mode gain. So basically, the uh, gain between V2 and V1 are the same. And the common mode is basically the difference between the two. And they're the same, zero. And the difference is essentially zero. Number four, the infinite open loop gain A. So this value right here, A, is infinite. And last but not least, uh, the ideal op amp have infinite bandwidth. So this can vary from zero to infinity, basically. And this is what the ideal op amp is. So the op amp have two configurations. The first configuration is it is an inverting op amp, and the inverting op amp consists of a voltage source connected to where the negative input terminal is, and I've labeled R1 and R2 here. And basically, uh, in the positive input terminal, uh, the voltage here is zero because the ground is connected here, so 
there's a zero uh, potential here and also there are no current. Now, one of the characteristics of op amp is that the voltage along the positive and uh, negative input terminals are going to be the same because as I've said, there uh, are zero common mode gain. So since this is zero, this is also going to be zero. And then uh, in an inverting op amp, the current's going to travel from, from uh, VI to VO. So we will label this as I1, and this is I2. And then finally, when we're dealing with op amps, we usually have to solve what the gain is. And that is basically taking uh, V naught divided by VI. And V naught divided by VI is basically, we're take, going to take the KCL of this uh, node right here, which is I1 is equal to I2. So I1 is basically V1 minus 0 divided by R1 is equal to I2, which is 0 minus VO divided by R2. And if we find VO and v, VO and VI, and VI, or I could just write V1 right here, but uh, if we take that V over VI, we get negative R2 over R1. So that goes for our inverting op amp. Our second configuration is the non-inverting op amp. Uh, sorry about that. So now we're touching upon the non-inverting op amp. And this time, our voltage source is connected where the positive input terminal is. And the current will not be in V1 as well. It's going to be zero. So there's zero current right here. But the voltage here will go to, is going to be V1 because V1 is uh, this, because um, V1 is connected at where the positive input terminal is. And because of that, the negative input terminal is also going to contain the same magnitude of uh, that voltage. So this would be V1. And the current is this time is going to travel from VO to V1 and then to the ground. So very much like this. And then we're, we can apply the KCL again to find what VO over V1 is going to be. But this time, I don't think KCL is the best solution. What we can do is apply voltage division to uh, find what V1 is, and then VO is going to be on the, on the other side. So uh, if we define what V1 is going to be, utilizing the knowledge of voltage division and using the two resistors, R1 and R2, together, that would our equation would essentially be this. This is how our uh, voltage division qu equation is going to be. R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times VO. Now we have to find what V1 is. And uh, so, no, we have to find what VO over VI. And that's pretty simple. What we take, what we do is we take V1 to this side, and then we take this fraction to the other side. And what we get is this. This is our equation for our uh, gain for the non-inverting op amp. 
Now, I'm all gonna finally cover one last thing I didn't uh, cover, and this is unexpected, but there is a type of op amp where our output voltage and our input voltage is the same. And that thing is essentially called the unity gain buffer. And it looks like this. So essentially we have the voltage source connected at the positive input terminal and then we have this branch connected from the negative terminal all the way to our output voltage. And uh, basically this op amp have a negative feedback but that negative feedback produces um, a follow up where the output voltage is essentially going to follow where V1 is going to be. And uh, because of that, this is our um, gain. Well, essentially the gain is going to be one. So gain, which we can represent as G, will be uh, V over V1, and that will be one for our unity gain buffer. And yes, that is it for uh, understanding the basics of op amps. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the near future. Below are three other videos that I highly recommend you guys to check it out. Weighted Summers, Differential Amplifiers, and finally, DC Imperfections. And after you watch either one of the, these three videos, you can also check out an example on how to do uh, each one.